for whatever reason, I put those two together, you know, like the beach and my dad. I felt that being at the beach, not that I could like sense my dad, but the good memories I have with him were there. I think that's a big reason why it's turned into what it is, my relationship with the ocean. It just kind of stuck, kind of just became like my therapy. It's helped me mentally in more ways than I think I know to put all my pent up energy into something that's gonna keep me focused. I had always done like my own ding repair and stuff and I was always intrigued like how a whole board would be done. I think it's just a more unique way to connect with the ocean, you know, on something that you kind of dreamt up. Definitely not reinventing the wheel here, but like, I remember picking up my first two boards I dropped off and I was super nervous because, you know, I knew they looked like crap and John was like super nice to not really talk anything bad about them. <laughs> I dropped them off, he was just kind of like, yeah, sure, we'll glass those. I remember picking them up and being like, wow, like this is incredible. Like it's actually a real surfboard. I remember catching my first wave on it at one of my favorite spots. I was like ecstatic. There was like two other guys in the water and they must have thought I was a loony bin because I was just grinning from ear to ear on like these crappy waves, you know? Because I was just like, wow, like it could be done. Every board I do, whether it's for me or somebody else, I want to keep because I put that like love into it, you know? When you see something come to fruition and like be completed and actually use it for that purpose that you had intended, it just like, it makes it that much more special. That feeling is what keeps me going back. That pure childhood excitement of like, it's like a Christmas present, you know? You don't know how it's gonna ride really. It could be a complete clunker or it could be like incredible.